Hello, and welcome back to Citizen Pew's Garage. And today I'm going to talk about this truck right here. This is the first vehicle I've purchased since I've got my garage built and uh, can work on stuff. And uh, this is a Nissan hard body or D21, whatever they, you want to call it. Um, but it's just an old Nissan pickup. And this is a 97 model. I had a 96 back when I was in the Navy. And uh, of course, mine was a uh, four wheel drive. It had like a four inch lift on it. Man, I took that thing. Uh, I was stationed up in Washington. I took that thing up into the mountains for skiing and snowboarding. I took it over to the beach highway, everything. It was just a fun little truck and I traded it in. Never should have, never should have. And I've always wanted to get one and play around with it again. And this one came up on Facebook Marketplace for a pretty good price um, and I picked it up. It does have a rebuilt title on it. So uh, it wasn't an accident one time that the insurance company evidently totaled it out and then they got rebuilt. But the thing runs and uh, I mean, nothing's wrong with the alignment that I can tell. Uh, it's not leaking anything. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna go over it here. I'm gonna tell you what I got. And uh, some of the first uh, things I'm gonna do as far as um, repairing it and fixing it up and stuff like that so all right let's take a look at the exterior here real quick and i'll pull it in the garage and then uh, we'll talk about some of the stuff in the engine compartment and inside of it so all right here we go and yep so here you go this is it uh you saw the picture in the thumbnail and uh i mean it looks from a picture it looks like it's been pretty good shape but it's got a couple you know it's got a couple issues here on the on the vehicle there's a there's a spot right there on the front quarter panel of the passenger side there's a spot right here on the passenger door uh some scrapes right there and uh, a couple dings and dents but as far as that the body's in pretty good shape it looks like somebody had some type of device attached to it at one time so there's some holes in the bed here the bed doesn't have too much uh rust on it and stuff like that so yep not too bad there i will say that over here the uh the tailgate uh, <clears throat> latch is, uh, yeah, it's broken. So I've already got another one ordered. So that'll be replaced for sure. And then over here on the driver's side, uh, you know, there's a uh, kind of a scuff mark there, a couple scratches. Looks like something was uh, kind of hit it there. There's a little bit of rust spots there that need to, uh, you know, be addressed. A little spot right here on the door and then over here on the front quarter panel of the driver's side, this is where there's a dent. So evidently something hit it and smashed that in. I'm not sure, you know, if that can be popped out or what, but it kind of, it pushed it in and it kind of bubbled it right here. So as you can see, yep. And at one time, apparently the hood and it was rubbing, but it looks like who, somebody who had it before got the hood back in, in alignment and stuff. So, yep, I've already had a couple birds take a, take a dump on it um other than that the front bumper here uh you know it's pretty beat up so yep it, it's gonna need some you know it may need a new front bumper i don't know we'll see how much work i'm gonna put into it uh yeah i'll talk about what i got in it already here once i get it in the garage but uh and we look at some of the other stuff there's a spot right there on the hood with no paint yep and of course the emblem's missing right there so and then uh yeah but the tires the guy uh, I bought it from was using it to haul stuff um, for, for what he did for work and uh, he kept pretty good shape of it, it sounds like. I talked to him for a good bit. He had some pretty new tires on it and then the rims are pretty decent shape too. So, yep. But the thing looks pretty sharp as you saw in the picture, you know, at least from a distance. So we're gonna, we're gonna see what we can do with it. Uh, yep, I've already got a, I already got a young man who wants it. So, uh, and you know what, he's, he was about the age I was when I had mine. So I told him, I said, well, let me do some work on it. Get my, get my car repair kind of uh, itch going. And then I told him I'd, I'd give it to him for what I have in it. So yeah, you know, he's a good kid. So yeah, <clears throat> all right. So there it is. Tell you what, I'm gonna drive this thing in the garage and we'll take a look on the inside and under the hood. All right. all right as you can see there it drove right in so yeah i mean i've been driving it around i've been teaching this 
this young man who wants it, I'm gonna give it to you at cost. I've been teaching him uh, how to drive a stick, so yeah. Um, which gives me time to do some of the, some of the fixing up I wanna do, so. But uh, he's doing good, he's doing good. He's a quick learner, so yeah. Let's go over some of the stuff. Uh, let's go over the hood and what's going on inside here. I will say though that these windows are tinted and uh for me i don't really care if they're tinted or not but uh it's a pretty dark tint you can't even see inside you're seeing my reflection right here so yeah um i don't know if they're too dark or not the back windows have been tinted too so yeah um so that may or may not be an issue so all right i'll tell you what uh let me open the door here and we'll go inside i'm gonna my dogs are in here so let me get them taken care of real quick <laughs> All right, I got them dogs taken care of. Let's look at the inside here. So, all right, here's the inside of the driver's side door. You can see somebody put some speakers in here and uh, yeah, they didn't do the best of job, but you know what? We'll, uh, we'll remedy that. I'll get some new speakers down the line, put them in there. There's a, a cable here. This is going to the, the stereo that somebody put in. They put in a uh, uh, something so you could talk you know uh bluetooth it to your phone and it's right up here you know so that'll probably get reworked um i'm not sure what went here i don't remember um anything being there so i gotta figure that out as far as this side it's got the original door uh our window uh crank and then everything else you know it's pretty solid this is a little bit loose the you know uh, your door handle here uh there's a tear here and a tear up here um so yeah and a tear here so those might be able to be patched up a little dusty right there so and that's a little a little bit cracked but not too bad the interior isn't in really all that bad shape there's some stains on the on the seat here a tear right there um you know it's a little dirty um yeah i don't remember if these had anything behind the seat here let me uh where's the lever here there we go oh i'm gonna have to See if I can. Yeah, all right. I had to push the cam, put the camera down for a second. So here's the back of the seat, and behind it, I don't remember if these had anything there on the just the single cab. So, but uh, it's a little dirty. <clears throat> There's some free money in there, but yep. Other than that, the seat belt, uh, this the driver's side seat belt doesn't retract perfectly, but that's not too bad. Have this little thing in here for now. Uh, yep, the uh, the headrests uh, are kind of stuck in place, and this one's uh, broken on one side. So, uh, but yeah, other than that, uh, it's missing the cigarette lighter. This button here has been pressed in, so I'm gonna have to pull the this off to pull that back and put it in. I'm not sure what it is. It might not have even been used. Might have just been a dumb button like that. And it is missing one of its little knobs for your adjusting the air and stuff like that. Other than that, on the driver's side, everything. Oh, it's missing its uh the it's missing the visors up here. So I need to see if I can find some visors. That's gonna be a necessity right there. So yep all right so let's get over here we'll go over to the passenger side here real quick and then i'll uh pop the hood and show you what's in there yep of course i didn't unlock it so be right back all right i got it unlocked now so on this side same thing with the speaker um and this hole right here gotta figure out what that was or patch it up or something i don't know uh the hand crank for the window it does have the original hand crank here but it's missing its little uh metal pin tab thing that holds it in place which uh, i've already ordered replacement for so yep other than that on this side um the seat's actually in really good shape on this side so yeah uh no no i think there's a couple stains on it and stuff like that but um yeah the gear shifter here there's a zip tie holding the rubber boot on, which will be fine for now. Um, the glove box here uh, is all kind of, yeah, got to figure out what's missing on that because it's kind of unstable. So, 
yep get that all kind of fixed up so oh there we go get that thing come on come on go back in there we go but yeah get it get it stabilized um but yeah and like i said the visors are missing uh the cab light works uh it looks like there's a piece of trim on the back here that's missing uh so yeah you know but this thing is a uh you know it's a 97 model so uh you know it's gonna be a little bit of work that needs to be done but the gasket the seals on the doors on both sides look like they're in really good shape and uh there hasn't been any leaking i will say though right here the door latch you can see they put some tape on there to keep it from rattling uh so i just ordered two more of these brackets uh for each side that has the the coating on it whatever it is i don't know if it's a plastic or a neoprene or something like that but i just ordered two new ones and uh we'll be putting those in so i'll do a video on that everything i'm going to be doing to this i'll do a video on so yep there's our cab light right there button on the door and it's working so all right um there is something i wanted to tell you about the uh the back side here um let's get over here and uh go down here underneath it and see if i can show you so the exhaust pipe is gone the muffler's there if you can see it yeah yeah there's the muffler but the exhaust pipe is missing so i need to yeah i need to fix that so i have already ordered a new exhaust pipe that'll clamp right onto that muffler and uh do a video on that of course and then i got some wires that were cut here hanging not sure what they went to but it looks like somebody added a uh power for a trailer uh right there so um i'll probably clean all that up you know being uh more being uh having a trade skill of electrician yeah that is not gonna go well with me I, that'll annoy me so yep all right i'll tell you what let me go ahead and pop the hood and we'll look underneath there all right we got the hood open here uh first thing yeah i mean it's dirty but you know i mean this thing's a 97 so um but i've had it parked in the uh driveway now for uh, a few days and uh yeah i haven't seen any leaks in it so that's a good thing although i know there's a leak this is uh your power steering right here and you can see there's just yeah i think there might be a power steering leak or a slight um you know a little bit leaving at a time the power steering works fine um it's really touchy so it it, it feels like it's good but i don't know it might just be dirty so one of the things i'm going to do is take this thing to the car wash and just wash out this engine compartment before i start doing anything because i will be replacing the spark plugs distributor cap and the uh, uh spark plug wires there the uh windshield wiper solution um yeah it's it's not connected i don't know if the motor works still or not but this thing doesn't have anything in the reservoir and uh this tubing i don't know how good it is i went ahead and ordered a tubing set for it and I'm going to try to get that going again because, you know, you got to have your windshield wiper fluid going. So, yeah. The other thing is, uh, from one, uh, you know, back when I was in the Navy, the one I had, an issue I had was this battery on mine, um, because mine was four-wheel drive and I was taking it through some rough stuff, this battery will bounce around if it doesn't have a, a bracket securing it. And I had this thing bouncing against the corner here and shorting out, bouncing up against the hood and uh, shorting out. And it just it just rocked it around so much the cables would get loose and so i ended up having to strap it down pretty good so i ordered a battery strap and hopefully it's the right size um we'll see the uh, the one i ordered the review said some people it fit perfect some people it didn't uh regarding this truck so yeah i got a 50 50 on that one other than that uh the uh previous owner who i bought it from did say that the he had replaced the fan so that's a thing right there the fan is replaced and i have a couple buddies i work with and they both have uh have had uh these nissan hard bodies that they have uh you know been working on playing with and they've had to do a timing chain replacement so that might be something down the line i might have to do i don't know 
But as far as the clutch, the uh, previous owner, the one who I bought it from, did put a uh, salvage clutch in there. The original clutch went out and uh, he put a salvage clutch in, um, I think he said at, uh, it was over 150,000 miles on it. This thing has uh, 260,000 miles on it right now. So yeah, it's gonna need some stuff. I don't even know what the air filter looks like. But like I said, I'm gonna take it to the car wash, pressure wash all this down. And uh, so it's nice and clean or it's cleaner and see what I can do. See this cap here is cracked, so it looks like it won't even stay on. So, yep. Uh, so we'll have to replace that to get the windshield wiper fluid going. But the thing is, I've been driving around, hasn't overheated or anything and stuff like that. So yeah, windshield wipers work. So I think a lot of the basics are, are in good shape. So, yep. <clears throat> so anyhow, um, just to let you know, I have, purchase uh taxes and title and i've ordered about uh maybe 150 dollars worth of parts through it i'm in this about 3100 right now so you know uh i don't think that's that bad for the shape the body's in and for how well it runs and stuff and you can see here like i said the tires are pretty new um look at all that tread on them still so um yeah and the rims are in good shape so that's a good thing and the body's in pretty decent shape this quarter panel is probably the worst part and you know i could either replace that or i don't know i don't know if somebody's gonna be able to bend that back for me or not but um in the end from a distance it doesn't look all that bad so yeah but it'll be an, it'll be a fun little uh you know uh do it myself car uh truck and like i said i already got a young kid uh well a young kid young man he's interested in it um and uh i say your kid he's younger than my kids but He's interested in it. He's a local kid, you know, and uh, I told him, you know, he, he helps me out around the house a little bit. I told him, I was like, well, let me play with it and get some, uh, get some of my, um, you know, hobbying and uh, car repair uh, itches taken care of a little bit and I'll give it to him for cost and then I'll find something else to work on now that I have a garage. So, yep. All righty all right well there it is uh let me know what you think uh my other camera died so you know luckily i have plenty of gopros so it said it overheated or something like it's not hot in this garage i really need to get some air circulation in here so <laughs> but anyhow uh my next step is probably like i said I'm gonna take it to the car wash i'm gonna do that today so i'll make it i'll just make another video of that it'll probably be a quick one just saying hey first time washing this engine out let's see if it restarts because um I've had cars with distributor caps that after you pressure wash the inside of the engine compartment, you got to sit there forever and let it dry out or pull the distributor cap off or something like that. So we'll see and make sure nothing shorts out and all that starts back up. So yeah, like I said, I'll probably make a video of that, of that part of it. So, all right. Well, that's all I got. Thank you for watching the video. Give a thumbs up if you liked it. Tell me what you think about the truck. Uh, if you have any ideas on some of the things I pointed out to fix, like I said, I've already ordered uh, the exhaust pipe the tailgate um, latch uh, device, um, uh, new tubing kit for the um, uh, windshield wiper fluid, uh, battery mount, and I ordered the, 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 um, the upstream and downstream O2 sensors because the, uh, the check engine light's on and it is the oxygen sensor, which was really common with these trucks. So I went ahead and just ordered both the up, upstream and downstream, so those will be replaced. Uh, and then I got to get the fuel. I'm going to replace the fuel filter, um, air filter, of course, and uh, just start going from there. So, but like I said, I'll probably do a video on some of those replacements and stuff. So you can see if you have any questions, if you want to see specifically any video of anything I'm going to do with this thing, let me know, put a comment down in the comment section. All right. Other than that, appreciate you watching. Like I said, give the video a thumbs up. If you like, subscribe to the channel. If you're not, you can check out my other channel. It's Citizen Pew also, uh, but it's not the garage. It's at the range. So uh anyhow other than that um yeah y'all have a good day